to Aaron Plays. This will be episode five of my Hands in the Sea game, which is the first Punic Wars using a deck building mechanic to control both factions. Welcome. Not really much to add here. Um, the Carthaginians, following their policy of what well, I put in there for them doing Corsica and Sardinia, have managed to take Illyria off the Romans in the last turn um, and are still lagging behind in victory points, but they earned more victory points this time. The Romans are laying siege, well, not laying siege because of no fortification, but are attacking. Um, a battle or forcing a battle at Panoramus on Sicily, continuing their strategy of taking the island. Now the Carthaginians are obviously going to try and stop them. So without any further ado, let's do this. Um, let me just minim minimize this, get it out of the way, and it's over to the Romans to go. And they have their six cards. Okay, and they are, well, the first thing you need to check, the little round all here is not in the red, so the battle's not over. So we now move into round two. Okay, um, currently, can the Romans reinforce that battle? Most definitely they can. They've got quite a few swords. And ships, each one of those can reinforce a ship, can reinforce a battle plus a sword. So, with that in mind, let's put that there. Goes into that, takes it by one, and then let's use a ship as well, using that ship to increase it by another one. Whoops. That goes across into there, and that now goes to there. So if again the Carthaginians do not reinforce this battle, the Romans will begin win at the beginning of the next round. But that's the two Roman actions completed. Over to the Carthaginians. Okay, well they can reinforce the battle with some of their infantry. Let's do that. Okay. They can reinforce because they're in supply, even though the Romans control the... Um, I better double check that, just make sure, because Carthaginians do control the sea. Checking the rules, the Carthaginians, to be able to reinforce there, it must be in supply, which is getting supply from the Um, And they can reinforce with troops, but they can't reinforce with ships whilst the Romans have control of the sea here. Okay. So they might have to think, re uh, uh, you know, they don't want any ships at the present moment they might want to use, but with a ship, they need to actually get some ships down there. So they might have to move their fleet. So let's have a look at, look at that. Okay, so the, the Carthaginians don't actually have any ships in here to reinforce with anyway. That's their only reinforcement card. So they've got options. But this card here is a free action. Allows us to draw three extra cards. So that's probably that. Well, I will be playing that next. Ah, so. Right. so playing that as a free action. Draw three extra cards. One, two, three. Um, yeah, not looking too good. They've got one ship, but that's it. Um, and their navy is one point weaker than the Romans. We've got four ships. But also noticeable by its absence is there is no um, swords here, no troops. So if the Romans can play... Um, Okay. Did I forget to move the battle? I did do. Yeah. One, two. Oh. Uh, 
three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, yeah, that was correct. So the Carthaginians have got really no way to reinforce that battle at present. But one ship, which they can't do because of Rome, they can move their navy down. Um, to contest it, but they can only reinforce it with one ship. And one ship will still use that in the two zone. So reinforcing that battle is going to be extremely difficult for the Carthaginians. A magistrate card, that's what it's called, isn't it, magistrate? Senatorial support didn't really give them any further options in reinforcing that battle. The ship, yes, is useful, but they have to move, yeah, it doesn't move it out of the red zone here. It's only one ship. So I think they're going to have to throw in the towel on that battle. Um, yeah, okay. So there's their first action. They're going to do a merchant and claim two, four gold. One, two, three, four. Start preparing for the next battle. Um, so they're going to purchase something. What could they purchase? We know the. the Yeah, because they're going to just about to lose this. If they lose the battle, they lose this. Hmm. Okay. It costs six gold. One, two, three, four, five, six. And requires a colonist. Colonist, there he is. Uh, let's take both of those. Unfortunately, can't put that on top because it required, would require another six gold. That's their two actions. Done. Back to the Romans. The first thing they look at, well, the first thing they've got to do is fill up their hand. They're two cards shy. And one, two. Okay. Then you look to see if they won the land battle, which they have. So we set that back to zero. And a prestige point. They capture the city. Now, have they got a colonist to put their own dude in there? They do. Play this guy, colonist. So they can place their own actual town in there. This gets removed. Okay, so the next thing we've got to look at is for Panoramas um, and from the Carthaginians. See where that actually is. Um, not in the discard pile. It's not in their hand. So we'll draw from here until we get it. Use a yellow card. So we're right at the bottom, isn't it? Right at the bottom. Well, I, I, I was joking. Oh, it's not there. Okay. A pause. I was there. I was just being blind. So that goes into the Roman discard pile. These all get reshuffled. Okay. Now, um, all these cards go back into the Roman discard pile. And then, yeah, this guy here is taken out. He's lost. Um, so, yeah. Romans win that battle. 
Not sure whether that's in the middle of the sea, I can't remember. Oh, the colonists. Ooh, yeah. Which is still no actions. No actions taken. Okay. And the losses from the battle. Yeah, if um as it was the only unit that the Carthaginians put, it's the only loss. If there was multiple losses there, the Carthaginians would choose who was actually lost. Unless the Romans had cavalry superiority, then they would determine who would actually be lost. So yeah, not a good result for the Carthaginians. So it's a policy for the Romans now. So they've got quite a bit of um, Sicily. One, two, three. We've got seven locations, which is worth quite a few victory points as well. So though they are going to continue with their aim to, to take it all, if, for them to take Lilibeum, they need the Panoramas card to be able to move to Lilibeum. So as we've just put that card in there, that's going to take a bit of time. However, this is the remainder of their hand. They have still got, Sar they've got Syracuse there. So let's use that. With a wagon. To expand into Campania there. We get to place one of their towns. Um, and we get to take the card. If you believe that, there's a Pupinia. Or specific card, Camerina. There we go. That goes into their discard pile. So that's, that's their first action. Second action. Okay. Got plenty of money um, and a citizen. Let's up the ante shipwise. Okay. Cost them three silver as well. One, two, three. Got that. They've now got five ships. Okay. What can the Carthaginians do? in this situation. Yes, they're in a little rock and a hard place. They're a little behind in BP. Ending the game quickly by building the three cities. They, they could build one here at, at Grintum, Paralysis, so they could finish the game fairly quickly, but they're behind still. Um, Rome's going to get quite a few victory points for um, Sicily. So ending the game quickly is not really an option. So they want to prolong this game and do some fighting back. Um, so they've only got two cards, so they need to draw three. One, two, three. Um, another good question is. Will any of the strategy cards, seamanship's been useful, but is there anything else here that can aid their situation? Start all land battles in a fortified area. There's nowhere it's fortified as yet, so that's not really going to help. Diplomacy, your opponent must pay two silver to the bank when attacking, raiding, or pillaging a location you control. Uh, the Romans don't seem to have any difficulty generating money, so is that really going to help? And deep reserve, you may hold up to two additional cards in reserve. Well, you can hold five. We've put a maximum. We've only had two in there so far. As a free action, you may retrieve all cards from reserve at no cost. Now, that could be useful. That part. Um, then they could put more cards in reserve ready for the next battle to re either retake Panoramas, move towards Syracuse. Those are options. All right, we're gonna play with what we've got at the present moment. Let's have a look. Um, useful, 
useful. Um, is that better in the hand? May raid or block a raid? Could be. We'll probably keep that in the hand then. Um, play three silver and build a location card to fortify that location. Again, might be useful. We can fortify Lily Bayham. Or even a Grintium down here. So again, keep it in hand or put it in reserve. Neuro, no, yeah, okay. There's not a great otherwise in the hand, is there at all? Hmm. No, it isn't. So what to do? I think it was going to be a case of let's get that out of the, our hand for one and Heracle. That's worth a reach point, isn't it? Okay. So from Heracle, using a wagon. Oh, no, there's no, there's no link. My bad. I was looking at a link here, but there isn't one. Let's take that back. Um, hmm. Right. Right. Okay, so let's ditch Heracle. And we got rid of that other card there. So not ditch it as in mm, not linked to anything else, is it? Yeah. Ditch it as well. Streamline this hand a little bit. So it's just basically getting rid of two cards. Okay. Back to the Romans. They've got four cards they need to draw. One, two. Three, four. All right. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's what the Romans have got. Romans like to be aggressive. No, no point playing that card at the moment because we've only got one card to draw. Um, cannot cause a reshuffle. So they only draw one card, they're only going to get one card from. So might as well use that when they've got the full deck to deal from. But let's raid. Why not? So playing that. Okay. They're going to raid Lily Bayham. So the Carthaginians must have either something in their hand. Now, Grimmie and the Romans don't know what the Carthaginians have got. I do. Um, but keep on applying that pressure. So the Romans will raid with their cavalry. Carthaginians, have they got Lily Bayham or a fortification card or a cavalry card? May raid or block a raid? Yes. Um, may raid or pillage attempt? Yes, so they couldn't do that. But they might have Lily Bayham as well, because the Carthaginians do want to keep these two cards, as we, as I previously just discussed. So I am allowed to look at what their full hand is. If they draw Lily Bayham, they probably would play that. So one and two. And they did draw Lily Bayham. Let's play that one to cancel that raid. Romans again going, hey, that didn't get through. But we still don't know what's in the Carthaginian hand. Again, I do now. Um, so looking at what they've got, they've up the Navy. There's no point, as I say, um, playing this card. 
We've got five cities they still need to build. Is there any of these places they can build into a city? Uh, Rome's obviously a city already. Pisa is a city. Tarentum is a city, so they can't upgrade any of those. Pandaris can't be a city. That's one of those little ones there. So can't make anything to a city. Um, We've got enough gold at the present moment. Army-wise, they're okay. Let's go and threaten. Or we could do a pillage. Yeah, I know other cards with pillage. We could earn now. It'd be two gold. And minus a victory point if it's successful. Playing it to hand, I know it's not going to be successful because they've got the fortification card. Um, which I know about, but still. What else can they do? Do they need to buy anything else at the moment? Let's have a look what actually they could purchase. We know that um, leaders aren't particularly useful for them. What's the, the sensei? What, what, what is that? Oh, it's a light infantry. No block a raid. Useful. What else can they get? More cavalry. Another legion. Magistrate, what does magistrate do? Is that the same as that the two silver collect four silver? Yeah, could do. That's free. Uh, okay, tool. What's that one then? Oh, that's like the color. Does the, the wine? Yeah. Um, what else we got here? Tribune. Ooh, what does Tribune do? Pay three silver and select one card of your choice from your discard pile and place it in your hand. That's interesting. Could be useful when you want to bring a legion quickly back after you just lost it or it's been used up in the battle. Yes. So let's purchase the Tribune. And that'll be their second action. Let's put all those back on. Discard pile. Okay, and they will be drawing a card next round and reshuffling. Carthaginians, dear oh dear, oh dear, they've got four cards, so they will draw one. Right, so again, limited what they can do with these, but we've been getting cards out of hand that aren't helping us. Situation. Albio, not necessary. Let's get that out of the hand there. And Nero, it's got a troop on it. Is it worth keeping in the hand for the troop? No. Actually, buy some troops. So let's take that out of the hand. Okay, so they're thinning their deck. Romans, now draw a card. Which then causes... Now, actually, that's a good question. That fills up their hand. Is the deck instantly reshuffled? Let me find out. Remembering that that, that card would actually have been drawn at the end of the... Roman last turn. I just don't do that because I'm trying not to look at every card that's in the hand before I get move on to the Carthaginian turn. The rules say as soon as the draw deck is exhausted, it is shuffled. So all these cards are put back in and available. Okay, so it is the Romans' turn. They've just drawn 
the second legion, okay? Ideally, they're looking for something to leap from, from either now, Kamkina, whatever the name of that place is, Kamkina down here, or Panoramas, to be able to carry on the offensives. Um, so to aid that, then we had this card that we didn't look at, didn't use last time. So take the top three cards from your draw deck. So that's what they will do. One, two, three. Okay. Um, that might be interesting. Remember, you haven't taken action yet. Play three silver and select one card of your choice from your discard pile and place it in your hand. So that would be an action. It didn't say it count as a free action. But they could re-get that senatorial card, giving them another three cards in their hand. I think I would do that. Yeah. So they pay three silver. Draw that back into their hand. Yeah, the tribune. Okay. So that's one action. Then they play that again as a free action. Draw three more cards. Two, three. Do any of these panoramas? There it is. No time like the present, as they say. Okay, so let's do this. So the Romans, so the Romans, play panoramas. Which is here. Then, so they got it's got a wagon link to Lubayam, uh, which is probably one of the weaker cards with just a wagon on it. Pisa, the wagon. There we go. And then they will deploy the legion to start the battle. Okay, so let's have a look at Lily Bay. Over here. It's got a swords on it. There. So therefore, um, it counts as an extra point towards its defense. So it actually starts there. That blue two. Deploying that legion takes it to Ray zero. Okay, so that legion is now the battle. Those two help there. And that's their two actions. Remember, they use the um, tribune to get the extra um, cards. So that's their two actions done. And card wise, they've still got three, six, seven. So they're not actually drawing any extra cards. Carthaginians are on three cards. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. So they draw two. Hmm. <clears throat> well, they're not losing the battle yet. Oh, that's a good point. I do need to put um, this. Lily Bayham. What do you do? There it is. First round. There you go. So they're not losing the battle yet because it's in the grey. They can't use the ship symbol because their navy's not there. The Romans control the sea, but they can use the swords. So let's first of all then 
Praise the magistrate. Okay, to draw two cards and collect two silver. First action. The cards didn't really help very much. There's a ship. Um, so yeah. So let's play the fortification into the bell, which puts that one point into the blue. That means the Romans have got to do something, otherwise they lose the battle. And as a second action, as the ships can't be really used down here, um, extra gold would be useful. Let's do a trade action. So there's using that ship. We'll gain two, so it's five gold. One, two, three, four, five. They'll go into the discard pile. And that's their two actions. Back to Rome. So the first thing we look at, have they won the battle? The, answer to the question is, no. Okay, so the battle goes on to the second round. Okay, so let's reinforce that battle because we've got now obviously pull out the blue. Um, Romans can use that sword there. It's back into the gray. And that will go to there. And they can use ships because they have naval superiority. In that Caesar, so let's use that ship. Pull it to there. So that's their two actions done. Reinforcing the battle. Back to the Carthaginians. Okay, so they've got two cards, so they need to draw three. One, two, three. Hasn't helped their cause considerably. Still, they're not going to lose the battle yet. So, and they do have a tendency to have more ships. So what they do here is increase their navy and then bring it down to challenge it, the Romans. So let's do that. Let's do that. So spending one colonist, three gold, Get the Navy to four. Spend the other colonist. Three gold. Take the Navy up to five. Then done. Back to the Romans. Okay. First thing to check. Note they haven't won the battle yet. Actually, not the first thing, because they've got now three, four, five, so they're entitled to draw a card. No, they haven't won the battle yet. Okay. All right. So let's let's now put that little bit of pressure on. Let's bring the cavalry into the battle. And that increases. Oh, this will be now round three. Oh, what happened there? All right. Let's set that back for a second. Let's like flip it. Increase one round. Oh, I see, because it's not all right. Reset. Why is it not doing it? I've broken it. Right, so this is the third round. I'm not sure what it's looking to increase. There we go. Okay. Directed. Sorry about that. All right, uh, what was I doing? So we increase that. Yes. Uh, put the cavalry there. That now goes into the red for the first time. So that's the first round. 
money wise, we're still okay. Um, mm. We have taken note that the Carthaginians have increased their naval size. So let's do the same using that colonist plus three cash. Okay, that's their two actions done. Back to the Carthaginians. Right, okay, so they get two cards to fill up their hand. Oh, there you go. I should have ended the turn. Last time, I did this exactly the same last time. Dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna to have to backtrack. My bad, I do apologize. Um, yes, because as soon as I draw this card, that's the last card, that ends the actual turn. So let's go through the end of turn sequence. Carried away um, with what's going on that I, I didn't check that they had two cards left there. So first of all, um, then a draw deck, shuffle, shuffle, draw a card. Okay, so that same card's done. Draw and resolve random event. Okay, patriotic citizens, you receive one silver, very developed location you control that is in supply. Okay, let's see who it affects. One of three, it says it's a one. Carthage in supply. Still classes in supply. See, one, two, three, four. Four extra silver. Not bad. Okay, next up, collect income. And VB. So the Carthage is basically I've got double bubble there. We get another four. One, two, three, four. The Romans have got one, two, three, four, five developed locations. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then VP. Right. Okay. So the Romans have got three, four. Five, right, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Twenty-nine. Carthaginians have got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so Roman's still in the lead there. Draw a new strategy card so the fortifications is gone. These will move up. Bing. Okay. Advanced turn marker into turn six. Okay. I put this card at the bottom of yeah, so that's all shuffled. Right. So yes, we had a, I had that little problem again. Um, we've got Romans got their cards back, um, so we can start to do what they were going to do over here for the next combat round in the next video. So I'm ending this now. I, mean, I do apologise for the mistake, but it's a warts and all. I'm learning. Got to remember, if there's two or less cards there. Got, yeah, it, it it ends the turn. Um, until next time, yep. Hit the like if you enjoyed what you're seeing. Hit the subscribe button if you want to get any further notifications of new videos that have been uploaded. Um, any comments, much appreciated. Bye.